Have you ever pondered the whereabouts of the 12 tribes of Ishmael in our modern world? This thought-provoking question has piqued the interest of scholars, historians, and enthusiasts alike for centuries. The tribes of Ishmael, often shrouded in mystery and intrigue, have left indelible imprints on the annals of human history. Their tale is a remarkable saga that intertwines faith, culture, and survival against all odds. Coming from a lineage as ancient as time itself, these 12 tribes provide an intriguing look into the complexities of human migration and societal evolution. As we delve into this captivating journey, we'll explore archaeological finds, scrutinize historical documents, and decode ancient narratives. The story of the 12 tribes is not merely a tale of geographical locations, it's a saga that resonates with human resilience, faith, and diversity. Through the lens of time, we'll witness the transformation of these tribes, their expansion across different continents, and their influence on shaping the world as we know it today. The amalgamation of their past and the present gives us a glimpse into an enthralling journey that continues to this day. Let us journey through history and geography to uncover the fascinating story of these ancient tribes and their present-day locations. Ishmael, the first son of Abraham, is a pivotal character within the broad spectrum of the Abrahamic religions. Born from Abraham's union with Hagar, his position is distinct and unique. As the offspring of Abraham, he was the progenitor to a prominent lineage. This lineage was made up of 12 sons who, as the book of Genesis narrates, went on to sire 12 distinct tribes. These tribes, each with their unique identities, spread across vast stretches of territories. Their influence seeped into the landscapes they inhabited, permeating every aspect of life. They played a pivotal part in the development of the region, shaping its history and altering its culture. From societal norms to religious practices, their impact was substantial and far-reaching. These tribes, spread across vast territories, played a crucial role in shaping the history and culture of the Middle East. The geographical distribution of the 12 tribes of Ishmael is not a straightforward topic. Indeed, it's a complex subject that requires a deep understanding of the ancient civilizations and the migrations that have shaped the Middle East over thousands of years. The tribes moved across vast territories, traversing arid deserts, fertile valleys, and rugged mountains, leaving behind rich and diverse cultural imprints. They intermingled with other communities, assimilated various cultural elements, and underwent significant transformations over the centuries. Their identities evolved, and their tribes splintered into numerous sub-tribes, each with its own unique cultural and historical identity. Yet despite these changes, the essence of their original tribal identities was preserved. By drawing on a wealth of historical records, archaeological findings, and cultural traces, we can sketch a rough map of their current territories. The tribe of Nebioth, the eldest son of Ishmael, is believed to have settled in the northern Arabian Peninsula. This is a tale lost in the sands of time, a tale that echoes across centuries, bouncing off the undulating dunes of the desert. Long before the rise of modern civilization, when the world was still young and untamed, a tribe chose to call this inhospitable land their home. Nebaioth, a name that would later become synonymous with courage and resilience, was the firstborn son of Ishmael. He led his people through countless trials and tribulations, venturing into the unknown and braving harsh climatic conditions for the sake of survival and prosperity. Their journey was arduous, shaped by the spirit of endurance that would later define their descendants. Today, this region encompasses modern-day Jordan and parts of Saudi Arabia, still whispering tales of the tribe of Nebaioth to the wind. The tribe of Qadar, known for their skill in archery and their mighty warriors, occupies a unique and compelling place in the annals of history. They are archetypal desert dwellers, making a life in an environment that many would consider uninhabitable. Their harsh conditions have forged them into hardy, resilient people, with a deep understanding of their surroundings. This understanding is evident in their supreme skill in archery. The Qadars are not just proficient, they are masters in this ancient art of warfare. It is said that their arrows could find their mark even in the pitch darkness of the Arabian night. The Qadar warriors are not just adept at warfare, but also known for their bravery and valor. Tales of their heroic exploits echo throughout the region, and their legacy survives in the proud tales of the Bedouins. These people are associated with the nomadic Bedouins who inhabit the Arabian desert, extending from Jordan and Iraq to the northern reaches of Saudi Arabia. Living in this vast desert expanse, they traverse the arid landscapes, leading a life that is as challenging as it is fascinating. Through it all, they have preserved their heritage, culture, and customs, 
passing them down from generation to generation. They truly are the beating heart of the Arabian desert. The tribe of Adbil, a survivor of the forgotten times, is typically associated with the northern Arabian region, which is known for its vast sandy landscapes and barren wilderness. This primitive civilization has left its traces on the sands of time, with its exact footprints blurred by the passing of countless centuries. This region, renowned for its rich history, is positioned strategically, close to the Syrian border. Historically, it has been a melting pot of cultures, where myriad civilizations have risen, flourished, and ultimately withered away. Time has a way of erasing the past, yet the echoes of ancient tribes and their lively, vibrant culture still reverberate in the air, painting a vivid picture of a time that was. Today, this historical area is part of the modern-day territories of Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Syria. This geographical shift represents the transformations that have occurred over the millennia. The ancient tribe of Adbil, once thriving in its harsh, unforgiving environment, is now just a whisper in the annals of history, their story spread across these three formidable nations. Their legacy lives on, etched into the rugged landscapes and the hearts of the modern-day inhabitants. Through their tales, we find a thread that ties us to the past and offers us a glimpse into a world that we might never have known. This area today is part of modern-day Saudi Arabia, Jordan, and Syria. The tribe of Mibsum, a people steeped in mystery and lore, chose to settle in the southern parts of the Arabian Peninsula. This region, a vast expanse of desert and mountains, was home to an array of cultures and tribes, all of whom added their unique imprint to the tapestry of Arabian history. The tribe of Mibsum was not an exception. The Mibsum were known for their resilience and adaptability, thriving in an environment that others found forbidding and inhospitable. They traversed the endless sandy dunes and navigated the rugged mountainous terrain, carving out a living in this unforgiving landscape in a manner that was nothing short of remarkable. They were nomads, expert navigators of the desert, and their routine was dictated by the seasons and the life-giving rains. This was a tribe that was deeply in tune with the environment, understanding its rhythm, its whims, and its bounty. Their history and culture, like the desert sands, were shaped and shifted by the winds of time. They left their mark in the form of ancient rock art, pottery shards, and other cultural artifacts. Their stories passed down through generations, echo through the ages, offering us a glimpse into their lives. This region that the Mibsam chose to call their home includes present-day territories that are now recognized as Yemen and Oman. These countries, just like the tribe of Mibsam, carry within them the echoes of a rich and fascinating past. The tribe of Mibsum settled in the southern parts of the Arabian Peninsula, which include present-day Yemen and Oman. The tribe of Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tema, Jaitur, Nafish, and Kedema also spread across the vast Arabian Peninsula, covering an incredibly extensive territory. This was a vast region of desert and mountains, harsh yet beautiful. They endured the harsh weather conditions, blistering heat during the day, and frigid cold during the night. Despite these challenging circumstances, they thrived, multiplying and spreading their unique culture throughout these arid lands. Their nomadic lifestyle led them to explore, settle, and influence regions far and wide across the Arabian Peninsula. Their descendants, it is believed, carried their legacy forward. They are thought to have dispersed and diversified over the centuries, reaching into many corners of the Middle East. This includes the modern-day countries of Saudi Arabia, Yemen, Oman, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, Jordan, and Iraq. In summary, the 12 tribes of Ishmael, once nomadic and spread across the Arabian Peninsula, have left their footprints across modern Middle East. The descendants of Ishmael's tribes influenced the culture, history, and socio-political terrain of regions like Jordan, Iraq, Yemen, and Oman. Tracing their exact geographical spread is hard, but their legacy thrives in the Middle East's diverse cultures and rich histories. Their story is a living testament to the enduring influence of ancient civilizations. So, the next time you gaze upon a map of the Middle East, remember the story of Ishmael and his twelve sons, their tribes, and the indelible marks they left on the sands of time and the vast expanse of the Arabian Peninsula. This historical narrative not only enriches our understanding of the past, but also provides a unique lens through which we can view and appreciate the modern Middle East.